Hey everybody, it's Josh here back with a quick Divi CSS tutorial. In this one, I'm gonna show you how to apply CSS to only one page in Divi. And there's a lot of reasons you might wanna do this. In fact, what I'm gonna do in this tutorial is we're gonna to head to my site, which is what you're seeing right here. This is a live page for my CSS for Divi Masterclass, which actually the link is below if you're interested in this. But what I decided to do is I want to remove the entire header off this page. I want this to be a distraction-free experience. I wanna take the header away. I also wanna remove most of the footer elements just to, again, keep this really simple and fairly distraction-free. But as you can guess, I don't wanna remove all these elements from all the pages. I just want them off this page. So that's what I'm gonna show you how to do. And there's actually a number of different ways to go about this, but the simplest way to do it in Divi is when you log into your Divi Builder here, there is a setting you'll see here below, we expand the Divi Builder settings. Right here, you can click the uh, gear icon. This is called the page setting options. And every option that you see in here is just going to apply and affect this page. So all we need to do, if you wanna add some CSS to this page and only this page, is go to advanced and then custom CSS. Any CSS I put here will apply to this page and this page alone. So it's actually really, really cool. So for example, just for testing purposes, let's do some inspect element. And let's say you wanted to change the color on the menu just for this page. Maybe you have like a branded service or something like that. Well, all I need to do is pinpoint what element I wanna change on this page, in this case, main header. And let's do uh, background. Uh, we're just playing. We're just playing around right now. We're gonna go green. So we've got a green header on just this page. So that's it. All you have to do is put your CSS in the custom CSS section there, save it, and then now this page will have a green menu. All other pages will have the normal color. Now again, back to the target at hand, which is to remove the entire header elements and entire footer elements off this page, which is what I'm gonna do. So I just gave you the quick version of how to do this. If you want to hang with me and see the full thing, let's do it. Now, we know main header is good, so what I wanna do is I want to add display none on this. That is going to remove the entire header. Now, there's still a problem though. There's still the top header, which has some elements here. So, I already know what this ID is, but if you're new to Divi or CSS, you can do inspect element, which by the way, I do have a tutorial on how to use inspect element. I'll put that below for you in case you're curious about how I'm doing this. And I can see right here that this top section has an ID of top header. So now I'm gonna add that in the CSS as well. Now the way I'm gonna do that is do comma and then pound sign top header. So that's what we found there. So now, boom, there we go. The header is completely removed. The main header and the top header are both displayed none. So for right now, let's go ahead and save this and we're good to go, looking good. But again, we still wanted to remove the footer elements here just because I feel like Again, I want this to be a very simple, clean experience that is straight to the point. You go here, you're gonna see this masterclass that you can sign up for, which again, you can actually sign up for this. I'll put it below if interested in learning more about CSS. And I want this to be very, very clean. So let's go ahead and take out the footer elements as well. Now there's a couple of different elements on this one because what I do wanna keep there is the privacy and terms. You need to have those on every page. So we need to be careful, we don't want to delete or hide the entire footer because you do need to have copyright date and links to the privacy policy and terms and conditions. You wanna make sure you have that on every page. So what I'm gonna do is look at what to target here. I'm gonna take this navigation out and I'm also going to take out just the widget section here, which I think if we look in here, footer widgets should do it. So let's try that, shall we? Let's get into it here. So we're gonna do uh, footer widgets and ET footer nav. So let's try that out. We're gonna go back into our custom code, which is again, just gonna affect this page. So let's do footer, we need to add that as a class, footer widgets, there we go. And did we get it right? Oh, it's an ID, it's not a class. There we go, there we go, that should do it. Footer widgets and let's put the ET footer nav in there. That is an ID as well. And let's put our pound sign for an ID. And there we go. We have just successfully removed the entire header and the footer elements off this page. So now, since this is a landing page, let's go ahead and save. I just saved there. Let's exit out of the builder to see what this looks like on the front end. 
And there we go. I could adjust the padding a little bit to bring this up if I want a little bit of white space there, but that's it. All I did was add that CSS and now we've got a much more clean landing page that's much more distraction free. Again, just a quick recap, any CSS you want to put in a page to affect only that page, go to your page settings, go to advanced, and then custom CSS. Anything you apply there will overwrite just this page on Devi. Hope you guys enjoyed this one. Here is to customizing some pages. You know, if you wanna customize things only on one page in Divi, it's actually a great cool little trick. Again, there are numerous ways to go about this, but this is just about the easiest and I do it all the time. And you just do, you just saw me do it right here on this page. So if you are interested in learning CSS more, I do have this free CSS for Divi masterclass, this beginner's guide that you're seeing right here. So check it out. And when you go to the page, you'll see no menu, no footer items. And I recommend checking my video about where to put your custom CSS in Divi, which will take this to the next level for you as well. If you're curious about all the different 79 places you can put your custom CSS in Divi. So check that out if you'd like to know more. I'll see you over there.